Today's topic, four surprising factors that make him addicted to you. Now, this is not addicted in a bad way. This is a guy that just wants to keep coming back and is passionate about you and is emotionally secure, emotionally available, but really likes you. And this addiction is going to have him just keep coming back to you in a healthy way. All right? So let's hop right in. Uh, before I do, I'm Mike Goldstein, founder of Easy Dating Coach. If you're new, go hit subscribe. All right, number one of four surprising factors that make him addicted is one is having an amazing life with activities going on. Let me tell you a story. I went on this date um, where I told this woman I wanted to take her to the Tide Ponds. Um, so I pick her up. We go on, on a little hike to get to these Tide Ponds, which is when the water comes in in the ocean and then uh, di uh, goes back in, leaves these little ponds, and then there's some sea creatures for you to look at and, and play with. So we go to the Tide Ponds. We have a fun little date. And then... Um, there's this shipwreck boat um, a bit away, so we hike over to the shipwreck boat, take some pictures, check out the boat, um, learn some of the history. Then we walk back, we hike back, we hike up the hill. Then I take her to lunch, and we're having a wonderful time. So I take her to lunch, then we hop back in the car, and I'm having so much fun with this amazing woman that I'd like to keep the date going at this point. So I proceed to ask her if she'd like to go have a drink. Um, so we have a drink. We're having a wonderful time. And now it's a few hours later. We, we're on our second drink and, and so forth. And now this date's been very long. Like we're talking eight, nine hours. And it's hard to have conversation for eight or nine hours. Um, and it's exhausting if you've ever tried to do that straight. Um, it's tough. Um, on a side note, our brain is supposed to focus on one thing for about an hour and a half, and then we start diminishing in our ability to concentrate and, and focus. Anyway, we need breaks around an hour and a half. This was eight hours. So I'm like, why doesn't this person, it's Saturday, why doesn't she have something going on? Like, why isn't she saying, wow, Mike, like, this is so much fun. I'd love to see you again. I've got an activity. So it's not really leaving. Like, so what I'd suggest for folks is having something after your date or having this amazing life where there's actually stuff going on. Because I know the tendency once you really like someone is you just want to like kind of get drawn into their life and spend time with them. But let's not abandon the things that were amazing when we were fully single. You know, our friends, our family, our activities. So still have those activities. Um, does that all make sense? How you don't want to just like fully bring your lives together immediately and just spend all your time together? What about the other things? Do you agree with that? Um, put it down in the comments. Let me know if you agree. All right, number two of four surprising factors that make him addicted is having sexy boundaries. And I talk so much about boundaries in, in other videos. But it's not just having the boundaries. It's how you execute them. Um, and don't be intimidated to have boundaries. It's not a bad thing to, to have certain feelings about what you want. It is a bad thing if you don't communicate it effectively. Let me give you an easy example of just, you know, Let's say the boundary is actually, I must have Mexican food tonight. Like, I haven't had it in four weeks. I want Mexican food tonight. Instead of being like, I'm not going to Italian. It's got to be Mexican and being a pain. It's like, what if we gave a guy, like, a mission? And his mission is something he wants to solve. Like, for example, what if you said, like, Man, Mike, I'm really craving burritos right now. And then I'm like, get wide-eyed. I'm like, wait a second. That's pretty easy to solve. 
I can do that. She's craving burritos. Let me go out here and find a good Mexican place. And think about like all the boundaries we have. Like, he's not calling enough. Why is he disappearing? Why is he not taking me on dates? And then how we can say it. Like, it can be like, I'd love for you to take me on a date. Like, it'd be so hot if you took me on a date sometime. Instead of like, you never take me out. You never call me. We just got to reframe it. And so that's going to make him addicted because most women are not great at communicating what they need. They're, a lot of women are good at communicating what they need, but not great at doing it in a sexy way that makes him addicted to you and draws him to you. So that's what we got to work on is the way we communicate these things. Um, does that all make sense? All right, so then this funnels right into appreciation. So we've asked for, you know, let's use our past example. I'm craving burritos. And now I went on this mission to find a great Mexican restaurant. Now I take you and you say, wow, this is like the best burrito of my life. I'm having so much fun. You're such a great guy. Like, thank you for finding this. And I'm having a blast. Part of him being addicted to you is knowing that you like him. No one wants to be pursuing someone that's not that interested. Like, we know we want men to pursue, but he's not going to do it to someone that can't be caught. Like, you know, we always talk about, like, I want a man to chase me. He's not going to chase you if you're impossible to catch. So telling him, this is great, you're doing wonderful, I like you, that's giving him the green light. Hey, keep going, keep going. You've got this. All right, so that's super important. All right, number four of surprising factors that make him addicted to you is having no self-doubt. <laughs> I remember um, I was on the beach, and I was hanging out with this woman, and she's in her two-piece bikini, and uh, we're friends. And I turn to her, and she's clearly been working out. And I go, wow, you look absolutely incredible. Like, you look so good. Like, great job on whatever you're doing. And she goes, I'm not there yet. Like, my legs are no good, and I need to work on this, and I need to work on that, and my butt, and blah, blah. And I'm like, and honestly, this woman looked fantastic. And... Trust me, I'm an honest guy. She looked good. And she need, it would be great if she didn't have self-doubt. And, and don't get me wrong, I do it too. I always go, oh, my belly's too big. Dad bod and all this stuff. I get it. I do it. I'm the biggest culprit out of all of us. But think about how that's perceived if you're dating a really high-quality person that has options. If I go to an amazing woman that's got a load of options and tell her, like, you know, I'm pretty out of shape, I'm pretty fat, and she's got options, why would she date the fat guy? And it's the same thing with a woman. And none of this may be true. Maybe I'm not fat. Maybe she does look great, which she does. But it starts creeping in there. It starts creeping into our brain. Maybe I shouldn't be dating this person they keep telling me all these negative things about them. Maybe I should be dating someone who has good things. So it's really important you don't have self-doubt and you just assume that you're happy in your body. And I know this is difficult, but start practicing. Anytime your family member, a friend, a significant other starts giving you compliments, say thank you. That's it. I know when I hear compliments, what I usually tend to do, and I'm words of appreciation, is I then give them a compliment. That is not how you do it right. You do it right by receiving. A compliment is meant to be received, not meant to be reciprocated. Receive it. Take it in. And be like, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And shut up and take it. If you decide to compliment them later, cool. A reciprocated compliment, quite honestly, 
it, it it doesn't feel real. You're doing it as a reciproc as reciprocity. You're not doing it because you genuinely you may genuinely mean it, but it's it doesn't come off as well as if you just out of nowhere give someone a compliment. So just say thank you. All right, moving on. Let's sum this up. Four surprising factors that make him addicted to you. Amazing life, sexy boundaries, giving appreciation, and having no self-doubt. You bring those four to the table, and he's going to keep coming back for more. Because you're going to be rock solid. All right? Boom. What I will do in this video is, um, if you want help getting a guy, working on yourself... Um, I will put in the uh, in the comments and in um, the information down there, the description, a link to set up a strategy call with me if you are interested in paid coaching and want some help. Um, only do this if you want help and you want to want to get in there. Um, and I would love to work with you. So please get in there and do that. Also, please subscribe if you haven't to the channel so you can get free videos. And hit the bell so you get notified when we produce another one. Otherwise, put some more content up here if you want to keep watching. I love all of you. We'll see you soon.